friends, welcome back. It's Michael Mitty Head Babbitt. Today, I have recorded a toaster oven bell. I'm removing the beginning TikTok, and we're going to be left with just the bell sound to export into Spectrosonic's Omnisphere. See, I'm just going to drag it right here onto the user audio box. Click OK when I get the notice, and ta-da! Our toaster oven bell has appeared. Now let's hear this glorious sound. Hmm, well, that's not very exciting at the moment, so let's change that. Click on layer B to get started. We're going to use the sine wave to help us tune our bell sound. Yep, that's pretty bad. So we're going to jump over to layer A where our bell sound is and adjust the coarse tuning. Ah, that's better. We can turn off layer B since we don't need it any longer. The next step is to move down to the bottom here and click the reverse button, and then we're going to adjust the start time to about halfway. The sound will now play in reverse. Like so. All right, we're off to a good start. Let's click on the granular oscillator tab now and turn that on. Smash that like button, tap the notification bell so that you know when the next video drops because we're doing this whole series of sounds from the office. This is video number two. And if you leave a comment below, let us know if there's something that you'd like us to bring into Omnisphere and turn into an instrument. Perhaps that will inspire a future video. When I play, it sounds like this. Now I need this slider to scrub the audio. So we need to change the mode from speed to position. Let's turn all the tuning stuff off. So no detuning, no pitch grains. And then I want to adjust the grain depth to about 160, something like that. And the intensity to about 325, 320, whatever sounds good to you. Now let's play it and move the slider at the same time. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. So instead of moving this with our mouse, obviously we want to modulate it with something. So let's use our modulation wheel. And then over on the routing, we're gonna make a slight adjustment to the source. I'm just gonna bump it a little bit. And that way when our modulation wheel goes all the way up, we'll reach the very end of our sound. All right, now that we've got a good foundation going, let's add some effects. In the first slot, we have a Studio EQ, which is rolling off the low-end frequencies on band one. Band two is reducing some mid-range frequencies, and we have a precision compressor to bring up the sound. Then on the auxiliary bus, we have a BPM delay times two for stereo motion, and then a proverb right under that to wash it out a little bit, adding a cool effect. And finally, on the common tab, we've added another precision compressor to keep everything under control. Okay, let's hear it in context, shall we? I'm gonna go into the granular oscillator so you can see it in action while I play. Right there, you can hear the modulation wheel pulling down over the back end of the sound. Now let's play some notes with it, shall we? And there you have it, your toaster oven bell, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do one more thing before I go. I'm going to reverse the bell back to its original position and adjust the slider accordingly. That seems like a good spot. Let's hear it in this position. But before I go, why don't I play a little track for you that I made using both versions of this sound. If you don't yet have Spectrosonic's Omnisphere, look at all the fun you're missing. Pick it up from your favorite dealer or from ilio.com slash Omnisphere. Don't forget to subscribe and, of course, tap that notification bell so that you know when the next video drops. Because at the end of this series, we're going to give you all these patches for free. Compliments of Ilio.